Wagab. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the W203 door handle. This is a common fault with the W203s and what happens is after a period of time, the mounts for the door handle get brittle and they break. In my case, it broke completely right off. As you can see right there, it snapped completely. And so my door handle was basically sitting like this and I had to close it from here. Now you don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how you fix this door handle. So the first thing we need to do is remove the door panel so that we can get to the mounts inside and mount our new door handle. We're going to need some torque screws. So I just got a set here and um, as we go through the video, I will list exactly what you need when we're using it. The first thing we need is a T30 and we need to pry this off so that we can get to our T30 torque screw. Pry that off and there is a torque screw behind there. Also, you need to pry off this so that you can get to your door handle as well. So that just pries off like that. And behind here, you're going to have a T30. Undo that. You're also going to have another one in here as well. Okay, now that's all done. There's also another T20 torque screw right here. And this clip will pry out. There we go, we'll just set it aside. We'll also undo this T30 here. Okay. With that removed, we need to pry off the door, but let's remove the tweeter speaker cover first and unplug it so that it's not in the way. So we'll get our trim removal tool. In order to remove your speaker cover, what you need to do is pry from here, okay? And then slowly pry it out, okay? As you get one clip at a time, it will come out. There we go. Pry, pry gently, not too hard. You don't want to break it. Okay, and then once you have them pried off, you push it forwards and it will come loose. Now we can simply pry out the tweeter, okay? You just pull it out. It will come out pretty easily and that's it. We need to remove the lock. So this will be a good time to also replace your lock pin if you wanted to replace it to something like this, a nice Mercedes-Benz uh, lock pin. They simply just screw on, okay? So I'll just unscrew mine now and that's it. And now it is ready to pry apart. Just get our uh, trim removal tool in between the door and the door frame and pry forward and pull at the same time. There we go. Door panel off, and now pull forward and lift up at the same time. So we get the door, pull forward and lift. And then the door panel comes off. Now, don't just pull it off, you need to also detach some wires. What you need to do here is pull the wire back enough to expose it out of its mount, and then you need to unhook the hook for the door handle, like so. All right, now, you also need to unplug your welcome door logo and the window control button. Unplug that by simply pulling it straight down. We need our trim removal tool so we can pry this out and uh, remove it and unplug it. Okay, we just pry it up, pull it out and unplug it. Like so. Push the cable on through, pull it out the other side and voila. Now the entire door panel is removed. So now we have the door panel off. These are the two mounts. There's the top and there's the bottom. We need to remove these two T20 Torx screws. I've already loosened them a bit, but you just have to unscrew these. Okay, that's one. And that's two here. Usually it's covered by this little um, plastic adhesive. So you peel it back and it will reveal these two T20 Torx screws. That will now free up the bottom one. And lastly, for the top one, there is a screw in there that doesn't come out. It is made to stay inside there. So even when you unscrew it from the door, the screw will stay in there so you'll never lose it. Now, in order to remove this piece to free up the top of the door handle, you have to open this up and pry it out like so. So it simply just opens up like this and it's this tab here that locks it in place. I'll give you guys another look in just a sec. You have to unscrew this. So you just get a open-end spanner. I'm just gonna use this and we break it loose. There we go. 
And now we can unscrew it and it will simply unscrew like so. And this is what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, the screw stays in place and this simply covered it like this, okay? You just open it and, and it sits over it like so, so that the screw never falls out. And to open it, you just pry it up and that's it. Put it back on, simply push it over the top. Okay, so now that we have that out, the door handle will simply push out now. I'm just gonna pull it out from this side, like so, and voila, door handle out. Here we go. That is our door handle out. This is my old door handle right here. So as you can see, this part here, it snapped right off. So I was unable to mount this back onto it. Grab our new piece. This is the part here. Okay, and what you get is the door handle and the mount and the cover, like I just showed you. This is exactly what you're going to get in your new kit for the door handle. We exchange our screw over and push it inside like so and that will simply stay in there okay it won't come out push our new door handle back in okay remember it's going to go this way that's the bottom that's the top we'll push it in from underneath okay perfect there we go it's in all the way in so as you can see here there is thread on this side here okay so this threads down here you just screw it straight on like so until it's tight okay you want to make sure it's nice and snug so we'll turn it a bit more just so it's snug you don't want to break it okay that's nice and snug put on the cover once again like so it goes on either way as long as you cover the screw inside and that's it that is that side done now we replace our two t20 torque screws here screw them in Nice and snug. That's one. Here's the second one. Just nice and snug. Okay, and that's it. Replaced, ready to screw back in once again. This leather part here came off as well, but I'm going to fix that in another video. So be sure to stay tuned for that video. Just check everything, make sure it's all flushed, make sure everything lines up really well and uh, you're good this is what i was talking about earlier in order to remove this cable from the door frame there is a groove here that it sits in and then the hook sits in the door latch right here that allows you to open the door and in order to release this cable you need to pull it enough so that it exposes the wire and then you pull it out of its seated position without pulling it back to expose wire you won't be able to remove it from its seated position right here that's why you expose the wire and then lift it out now let's put back the entire door frame and plug everything back in the first things first we're going to run our wire for our door welcome logo back in here and then pull it out the other side now we need to plug this back into the window switch it only goes in one way done and now we can put the door back together so like i showed you earlier you need to pull it in close put your hook on first so the hook goes on and then you expose enough wire so that it can sit back in this position there we go it is sitting back in its seated position right now now lastly we need to make sure that the tweeter comes out Okay, so we put it on the outside here and we make sure that our door lock pin comes out of the door panel. Lift your door panel up and put it over the top and help guide the lock pin out. But be careful, don't push it too much that it breaks it, okay? You just want it out enough so that it comes out through here, just like so. In order to get the door panel back on, you need to lift it high enough so that it sits over this part here. We'll lift it up sit it down down like so push it back until it clears it all there we go and now everything else should line up reattach everything so first we'll start off with 
this here. We need to put it in first before we push the door panel back in. You know the screw hole is here, so it sits this way. We push it straight in, push it down, and then push it up. Clip it back in. Make sure our screw hole lines up, and then we clip the door back together. Just push it all in so it all clips back in. All right, now we can put this screw back in. This was a uh, T20, so we put our T20 back in. We can put our door lock pin back on. So like I said, this would be a good time to update your lock pins. Usually it would just sit in like this, but I also wanted to add this little surround as well. Now I don't even uh, use the adhesive. I just put it straight on like so. And how this works, it has a rubber piece inside which will then grip onto that locking pin. And you just now adjust it how high or how low you want it. Now we can screw back in all the other screws. We will screw back in this one here first. Screw that in. Put this one back in as well. There is also another one inside here. This is a T27. And lastly, we replace our door handle. And voila, it's clipped on now. Push this back on. Install our welcome logo again. For our tweeter, we have three tabs here that hold it in. And on the tweeter, you're going to see three slots so line them up ensure that it sits like so line it up line up its tabs with the grooves and then push it right in and that's it to reinstall this we need to install this slot first push it into here and then push it forwards there we go, it has to sit in like that. And then simply push it back and it clips back on. That basically concludes our front door panel removal and door handle replacement with the door lock pin modification as well. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, this is Mike with Mike's Vlogs, signing off. More W203 videos coming real soon and even PC mods. Bye for now.